So here I'm explaining the exponential distribution. What is the exponential distribution and where we got stumped here? Because the questions are, so look into questions are based on mean time between events. So normally the questions are asked in terms of mean time between events and we just try to put the direct answers direct values of lambda and therefore we got stumped. So exponential distribution is, you know, has lambda. If events per unit of time follow Poisson distribution, the time until the next event follows the exponential distribution. So this is the must condition everyone has to remember. So until the next time event is continuous variable. Now look into this at the comment section at the bottom. Bottom waiting time is exponential when arrives arrivals follow a Poisson model. Often one by lambda is given mean time between events rather than lambda. The value of e is this. So normally in question, what is given mean time between events and not the lambda. So one upon lambda is mean time between events. So just this thing you have to remember in order to do that. Again, the question is also, this X value is less than equal to X, which is this side left side, and X value is greater than X is this side on the right hand side. So if suppose we get, you know, less than equal to, we subtract with one and we get the answer like we used to do. So this question is again between mean time, you know, between 2, 4, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. The, the rate of calls are 2.2 calls per minute. So what would be the lambda in this case? Very simple. Lambda would be 1 divided by 2.2. And that is how we got 4, 4. So this is the value we need to put. Again, 50 minutes, so, and now I'm just going to do, uh, let me share the mini tab. So if I go under calculate probability distribution and we have exponential distribution. So this is a cumulative because it is asking more than less than so the scale is 0.4545. Why me threshold always put zero? Input constant is 0.5. And now look, we always can get less than or equal value, less than or equal value. So point this value is less than. Now we are interested in greater than x value, greater than. So what we have to do, like we used to do we just subtract from one. So if you can see one minus 0 0.6671129, we get the answer 0 0.332871, which you can say 0 0.3329. So we have to just take care in this case. And now I go further. So this is this is the slide we have to keep in mind. Mean time between events, this is given normally. So one upon lambda mean time between events, units of time per event. So one upon MTB is lambda, which is lambda equal to one by, or you know, you can simply calculate and you can simply get the answer. So this is the only way to calculate exponential distribution in the uh, in the mini tab. 
if you can do it manually if you can do it that's fine but you know this is the mean time between events is important concept we have to remember